YouTube. Hello YouTube friends and family, this is your boy GB Reviews and today we're doing another Hello Fresh meal. We're gonna do a pasta um, with a kind of a lemon zest uh, with Italian chicken. So this should be simple, it's about 30 minutes. I'm gonna walk you through the steps and then I'm gonna do the steps really quickly so you can see everything and how to do it. And then we're gonna plate it and I'll show you how we plate it. Um, and then we will taste it and see what it comes out like. This is gonna be with zucchini, should be fairly easy. I'm gonna show you the ingredients and then we're gonna get into the steps. So with that, let's get at it. So when we're going through the ingredients, like I said, the ingredients are pretty simple. The first thing they give you is your ingredients card and that has your recipe on it. Um, it goes through all the steps. I'm gonna walk you through all the steps. First step one, two, and three. And then once you start cooking the chicken, I'll start talking again and then we'll go through steps four, five, and six. Um, but you see the ingredients. Basically what you need from your own pantry is a large pot, a zester, a strainer, um, a large pan, olive oil, butter, and vegetable, and kosher salt and black pepper. Um, what they provide for you is pasta, Parmesan cheese, uh, lemon stock, a zucchini, a lemon, two cloves of garlic, or a half a clove of garlic, sour cream, Italian seasoning, chili flakes, and then of course you have your chicken. And this is um, 12 ounces of chicken. So we're gonna cook this up. We're gonna go through all the steps. It should be fairly quick. So like I said, the, the card says it takes 30 minutes. It'll take us a little bit more time just because we have to film everything. But other than that, it should be about 20 minutes for the complete. So you two friends and family, we're gonna go through the instructions really quick. So the first part of the setup and preparation is we're gonna actually prep our vegetables and that part is really quick. So you wanna bring a pot of water, salted water to a boil. So I'm gonna use a large pot on my stove. I'm gonna boil it, put a little bit of kosher salt in the water. The salt helps the water to boil quickly. I also drop um, maybe like a teaspoon, or excuse me, a tablespoon of olive oil in there that keeps your pasta from sticking. So I do that, that's not in the instructions, that's just kind of a home secret. Um, you wanna wash and dry all your produce. We're gonna cut the zucchini into quarters. Um, and this is a small zucchini, so we're gonna, I'm gonna actually peel it first and then I'll cut it into quarters. Um, and then um, you're also gonna zest the lemon because we need some lemon zest. And then we're going to uh, also quarter our lemon. So we wanna just cut it and quarter it and I'll show you how to do that. And then um, we're gonna cook our pasta. Step two, we're gonna put the pasta in. So you're gonna put the spaghetti in. And we're gonna, once we finish boiling the pasta, this is like nine to 11 minutes, you wanna reserve one cup um, of the pasta cooking water because we're gonna use that to make the sauce. So remember, do not pour up all the water. You wanna keep some of that water. One cup of that water. Third step is we're gonna cook the zucchini. Um, we're gonna use a large plan with a drizzle of olive oil, a drizzle of when you see instructions that say about a drizzle of olive oil, that's about a tablespoon of olive oil. Um, and then you're gonna add your zucchini. I'm using a nonstick pan. And you wanna cook your zucchini until it's brown, which is about four to six minutes. And you're gonna season with salt and pepper. And then we'll transfer it to a plate. We'll wipe the pan out, because we're gonna use the pan again to cook our chicken. Uh, step four, which I will come back to again to just show you how to do it but once the chicken is done i mean once the uh, zucchini is done we're going to cook our chicken um, we're going to use the italian seasoning to season our chicken and we're going to cook it um, for four minutes um, per side four oh, excuse me five to seven minutes per side just want to make sure it's brown but with chicken it's also important to make sure it's always cooked thoroughly through so if you have a cooking thermometer you want to make sure the internal temperature is about 145 degrees um, for folks who are worried about salmonella, things like that. And um, actually, um, what we'll do is we'll cut the chicken, I mean, we'll cook the chicken first, and then at making the sauce, I will come back and I'll stop you because we need to walk through those steps. So from that, we're gonna just get into chopping everything. And, um, you know, you'll see me do it quickly. We'll get to it. And then next thing, the next time I'll talk to you is making the sauce. Uh, one of the things to note is that I do everything by hand only because I want you to see how to chop things in terms of the pieces and stuff like that. But you can, for certain dishes that we make, you can use a food processor. I'm just not using my food processor right now because I'm making these meals for just two people. Anyway, uh, let's transition and uh, get to chopping.
now that we've finished with our chicken, we are now on this phase of making our sauce. So to make our sauce, we are going to be required to heat our pan that we cooked our pasta in. We're just going to put some olive oil in there and we're going to add our garlic, our lemon zest and a pinch of the chili flakes that we have. You're going to basically stir that into olive oil until it's fragrant. Then we're going to add the stock that we have left, um, which is um, this stock. We're going to add that. And we're gonna um, add <coughs> some of the lemon juice from half of the lemon. And then we're gonna simmer, and we're gonna add the chicken stock. And we're gonna heat that until it's um, thickened, about one or two minutes. And then we're gonna finish everything. I'm gonna cut the chicken. I'll show you the video of me cutting the chicken into the crossbody slices. It's cooling right now. And then uh, we will plate it and serve it. So YouTube friends and family, uh, we're done. I plated it. You saw the pictures. You actually, I saw you, uh, I had you uh, look at my preparation, how I plate it. Cause I think that part is important if you're preparing meals for not just your family, but if you have guests over and things like that, a properly plated meal um, makes all the difference. We're gonna taste this. Um, I have not tasted it yet. Everything looks delicious, but we're gonna see if uh, the proof's in the pudding. In terms of meal prep time, 30 minutes is about right. It probably was like more like 40 minutes only with the pasta preparation, things like that. And then in terms of ease of making, uh, I think it's probably a one or two on a scale of 10. It is actually quite easy. It's just making pasta, browning the chicken and cooking the zucchini. Uh, in terms of um, the freshness of the ingredients, I would say this is a nine out of 10. Uh, some of the things weren't as fresh as I wanted them to be. Um, but other than that, it was uh, pretty good in terms of the quality. So let's dig into it. Let's see what it tastes like. Um, I am prepared to be impressed. That's quite good. The lemon flavor comes out uh, immediately. The other thing that you taste immediately is you taste the, um, the garlic and you taste the hot peppers. It's not overwhelming. And um, see, zucchini is very nice. If I was making this again, I would probably double the amount of zucchini because I think for the amount of pasta that you're making, it's not quite enough zucchini. Um, the chicken is delicious. I'm actually quite shocked because it's not marinated at all. All in all, I give this meal, um, in terms of prep and everything else, the freshness of everything, the healthiness of it, I would rate this meal um, an eight out of 10. I like it, it was easy to make. Everything was nice and fresh. The chicken is good. 
all in all, I think the instructions are true to life. Um, I liked it. I thought it was great. And so, um, you know, this is easy for the family. I think your family would like it. You know, the lemon kind of undertone of this meal is actually great. It, br it brings out all the freshness of all the ingredients. Um, I would say try it. Let me know if you like it. Please leave the comments below. Hit that notification bell so that you see when my other videos come out. Also hit the like so my for the YouTube algorithm. That really helps me out. And then let me know if, they, if you tried this meal, if you tried this service, if you like this service. I always want to try new services. So if you have one you think I should try, that'd be great. Uh, let me know. But, you know, this is your boy GB Reviews. I don't have any more for this meal. I like it. I think you should try it. It's easy. Um, subscribe and like below. Subscribe and like below.